Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about doing preventative maintenance on your Chicago Pneumatic QRS series, anything that's belt driven. I'm going to do some basics on it of what we need to do, how we need to do it, and what we're actually going to be changing out in it. So this is a little bit of a process that takes some time. It's not a five minute operation. Most times this could take a good hour and a half, two hours to make sure we do it the right way in the proper way because we're here to be preventative. We wanna make sure we're looking at other things that are going on. We're not just changing the filters. So the first thing to get started with is we're gonna start by making sure that the unit is isolated from power. The power is shut down, it's checked that there's no power going to the unit, and the power source is locked out and secured so no one could reactivate that to it. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the pneumatic side of it, the air side, the air valve is the same way. It's shut, it's locked. And then all the unit is bled out of the, all the air pressure is bled out. So we have no stored energy in, in the tank and everything is all clear for us to do that. We're gonna do a couple checks along the way to make sure that we don't have that. You're gonna make sure you have your safety gear on, your check with your meter inside of your panel to make sure that there's no power there. The second part is, is we're gonna look at the tank and we're gonna make sure it's bled down through the drain and make sure that the gauge is reading zero on the tank. 